Hello, hello dear Aries. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here for your mid-month reading of July 2020. It is a general reading. Of course, these readings will not resonate with everyone. So please remember that when you're watching the reading. And don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising sign, Venus, Mars if you're a male and your north node if you are familiar with it okay i do hope that you're all well this is a four card spread dear aries so let's have a look what's going on in general so we've got the moon in the now position in the past we've got the eight of swords in the distant past, at the foundation, we've got the card of the death, death card, which is Scorpio. We've also got the moon, which is Cancer, Pisces. Crowning your reading, wow, dear Aries, is the Three of Swords. This is what you're focusing on. What's the outcome? And we've got the Emperor here. Now, the Emperor here is looking quite stern. He does have a jovial um way to him he's wearing a, a christmas um, suit so he's dressed as father christmas which is saying to me that it's not the right time actually right now whatever you've been heartbroken you're still trying to work on it you're trying to stabilize something okay we've got a, a card of um restrictions you know the emperor does speak of some obstacle that is in your way what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the card of the hierophant and this is taurus okay this could mean commitments marriage religion idealism some sort of a hierarchy situation where you've got to climb those steps if you're working on a you know in a position where there are steps that you've got to climb it's one step at a time taurus is very uh grounded very slow moving it's earth so this is the general energy okay let's have a look at the whispers of love let's see what's going on yeah what's the advice so we've got um scorpio pisces cancer uh, and Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you do have a fair bit of air here. I do feel as though you're going through some sort of a karmic uh, breakdown, a karmic situation where you need to transform something at your foundation is Scorpio. So this uh, and death, death, death takes, it's a process, it takes time. Let's see here. And we've got act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. And it's a number 37, which equals a four. And act as if your partner is here. That means that someone is I'm going to say someone is trying to um, imagine that their partner is here okay it looks as though with the uh, three of swords here three of swords means that there has been a disappointment maybe there's even a third uh, situation or a third person in the picture here which is not allowing your dreams um, to come true at this time the the emperor here asks for more um integrity asks for more work you know this is the fork in the road that is blocking you in the now position with the moon the moon can speak of strong uh intuition but it can also speak of fears we've got two cards of fears i do feel as though you are acting um as though what you're trying to manifest has got no chance Okay, but I do feel that at some point here, because there is, this is a very hard card, but in this deck here, which is the pictorial 
Kid Taro. As I said, he's looking really stern, but on the outside, he's wearing a um, Father Christmas. So this is saying that all your Christmases are going to come at once, I do believe, as long as you keep um, imagining that and wishing, of course, and also praying that what you're hoping to manifest will pan out. Okay, someone's got a choice. We've got two keys here. Someone's got a choice between two people, two situations, okay? And with Taurus, Taurus is all about um, working towards something, putting in that effort. This is fixed earth, which means that someone is really hard to budge, okay? Both these cards are very similar to me, both of them. Okay, so I'm going to say that it, the fact that it says act as if your partner is here, this is you living out a story, imagining so that you can draw in um, your situation, your dreams. Okay, when we imagine that what we're wanting to bring into our lives, that it's here, that's us going being halfway there. Now we've got the Queen of Cups here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I do feel as though this is more than likely your energy, okay? Um, Queen of Cups, very, very strong intuition here. We've also got Gemini and the lovers here. So as I always say with Gemini, um, it is a, a head over heart decision. Someone is trying to make a decision. There has been, and I do feel as though it's more than likely the other person that is trying to make a decision between you and someone else um, or whether they're going to move forward without fear and with faith or not. Let's have a look. Let's take a few more cards. The moon. We've got the page of cups. So, well, what you don't see coming is an offer here. And this could also be an apology if someone has... This uh, disappointed you recently or done anything to hurt your feelings. I do see that there is um, an offer that's coming through. Let's look at the recent past with the Eight of Swords and we've got the Queen of Wands and this is your card which is saying to me that the fear is you're fearing the worst. This is you. The Aries, know that luck is on your side and know that you are... Um, doubting your capabilities and your abilities let's look at the scorpio card here the death card and we've got the four of pentacles someone's been holding back they've been holding back on their true emotions you know scorpio is very deep very hidden i do feel that this is a very uh, strong and intimate connection whether it's physical or emotional Someone's been holding back on their truth here. Let's take the Three of Swords. And I would say more than likely someone's been putting on a facade, putting on a brave face. I do feel it's the person that you're dealing with. They're not being open about their true emotions. Maybe in, um, in order not to bring worry to you because they know that they've already hurt you here. Let's have a look at the Three of Swords. Wow, and we've got the Ten of Swords. That's 13 swords. So obviously, whatever's going on for you is transforming. There is a, a drastic change and a rebirth coming soon, dear Aries. Let's take another card on those 13 swords. And this does speak of, yes, someone has deceived you, stabbed you in the back. Okay. But someone who was in their shadow side, they wouldn't, maybe they were going through their own dark moments. And therefore, that was the best that they could do. Let's have a look. And we've got the fool here. So, yes, yeah, someone has maybe also in the past, maybe someone took a leap of faith. Maybe they feel as though they fell flat on their face. But I'm going to say, no, that's not the case. You need to continue and be willing to start a new cycle, take a risk. Whoever is uh, this message is for, there is a new cycle beginning. Let's have a look here because we know that this turn in energies, they ask for work, they ask for integrity, they ask for something 
to um, be worked on long term. So if you feel as though you've fallen flat on your face, no, you are building on something that's long term, something that will provide you with security. And we've got the messages of love coming through um, and something that was very slow moving is picking up. Let's have a look at that five, the Hierophant. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the Virgo energy, which is saying to me, a lot of you may be single and you're going straight from being single into a connection where there, it can be something long term. So this could be a serious relationship. For others of you, someone um, may be maybe looking very very closely um, at the details we've got Taurus and Virgo here both earth signs both very slow moving and both certain about what they need to do to move forward okay so this is someone who needs to be um, secure to feel secure Okay, and uh, therefore build something that is long term. What's at the bottom? And we've got, yeah, the uh, lovers again. This is a very strong union, a big uh, connection, a very powerful connection here. And I'm going to say if someone is making a choice between you and another person, as I said, we've had the Queen of Cups as well. So Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Um, if, and we've also got Gemini here, very strong. If someone is making a choice between you and another person, I do feel as though the new cycle here, your um, your confidence is going to take you to another level, to bring you into a brand new cycle. And it does say, imagine and act as though your partner is here, therefore um, you're building the foundation, okay, for them to, to come in and I feel as though that'll be much more inviting it's like it's that's how the energy works let's take a couple of Lenormand and see what's going on for you we've got the garden we've got the clover and we've got the clouds yeah this is the fork in the road with the clouds um, you are you were on the right path, but then something is asking for um, I don't know a bit more work here. Um, this is a little bit of a challenge here. Let's have a look. What's at the bottom? And we've got loyalty, the dog. So whatever you know, you've been on the right path, but for some reason it can be a karmic reason. The clouds came in here. Your luck was blocked for a moment there. But your loyalty is what's going to get you to the finish line, the Aries. That's what I feel. Okay. So that's it, dear Aries. I do hope that this helped you. As I said, do watch your um, moon, your rising sign. If you're female, watch your Venus. If you're uh, male, watch your Mars. And, of course, if you know your North Node, check that one out as well. Uh, I'd also like to say that on the 20th of July, we're having another new moon in Cancer, which is going to have Saturn right across. So this is, um, that's the blockage, okay? Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing because something is trying to work itself out. Something long-term that you're securing here. Sorry about that noise in the background. So that's it. I'm wishing you luck. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. Sending you much love and many blessings. See you soon.